Welcome back, everyone, to the victory of the Doom Marquis Mod. I'm your host, Mr. Mokalover, or Herr Mokalover, right now. Well, uh, it's May 4th, 1943, and there's quite a few things I've done. So, as we saw yesterday, we had expansion into the Russian Empire. We went to war with them, and we're kind of following the line against them. We've taken St. Petersburg. Moscow is the next great thing. Austria Hungary's done okay, and I actually have military access to their lands, but so. We were here on the front, and obviously, as you can see, it's just us, literally, just us, guarding the front, which really sucks. So, uh, I decided, you know what, screw it, I don't want any more supply issues here. So, I took a bunch of the uh, Allied soldiers, including Belo Belarusians, uh, let's see, maybe maybe a few Poles, yeah, actually quite a few Poles. I took like 72 divisions, 3 stacks of 24 armies, and then I just like, where do I put these guys? I got nothing to do with them, so I said, you know what, screw it, let's take out Denmark. And we took out Denmark, and I annexed them. So I saw that this was good, and because that was so good, I said, you know what, screw it, how would we take out Sweden? We took out Sweden, I navally invaded with this army under Von Bock, and took out Karls Corona, Karls Corona, Karls, Ro Karls Krona, and actually I successfully invaded Malmo, but actually I we lost eight divisions there. Um, let's see, just because I was doing force defense, just because they really wanted to attack me here, as there was a lot of divisions over here, there's like 11 or 12 of them, took them out, and I'm like, okay, well they're done. Pushed in, took over Sweden. I wanted to go to war with Norway, as you can see, too, but now they're guaranteed by the UK, and I don't want to go to war with the UK. So other than that, I was thinking, uh, not paid licenses. Uh, they could probably use it. Paul on the war back, that's fine for now. Um, but other than that, I'm like, okay, well, if we can't go to war with Norway, who else can we go to war with? And then I saw that Italy was struggling with, uh, Austria-Hungary was struggling with Italy, so I'm like, okay, we'll put them on the border, and we have pushed pretty darn well through these guys. Uh... I don't know what happened to their divisions, but yeah, it's not bad. They've over two million losses. The Russians have lost a whole bunch, mostly to the Austro-Hungarians, because we're not that crazy to attack like crazy. Well, actually, after seeing this, yeah, maybe we should have we should have attacked a little bit more smartly, but whatever. Uh, actually, the the French attacked a little bit as well, and actually, I think Belgium got Calais. So, other than that, this front's been completely stagnant. We've been able to push in. I mean, it was just. Like, I don't know what happened to the divisions, but we just pushed in easily. And this is a result of one of the encirclements that we've done here. So, as you can see, we're using a lot of our Belarusian soldiers, too. So, And it just, once we pushed in and circled them, I mean, it was super easy just to beat them up. So, now we're on our way to take out Italy. And actually, I think we wanted to go to war with the Ottoman Empire next. Just because we want, we got to help out these guys, too. So, um, yeah, it's not looking good for anybody here. But we have a couple comments to go through. It's 1943, May 6th. I play this a little bit too much off-screen, probably. Honestly, it was okay. Not really much has happened. I've done some of this. Expand the Bellahomshafen and Kiel ports. The ports of both places are some of our most important shipyards. They're also the home base for the North Sea Flotilla and the large part of the U-Boats Flotilla. Bellahomshafen is especially important to us since it is our only access along the North Sea. The developed the port seats of Antwerp and Ghent. Our access to the North Sea is very limited from our homeland. By expanding the Scandish, uh, Flandish ports of Antwerp and Ghent, we can also extend the range of our subs. Protect the North Sea coast. Our relatively small North Sea coast can be under great threat of amphibious assaults. By fortifying strategic bombers or harbors along the North Sea coast, this threat can be severely reduced and fortify our vital naval bases. Our strategic, strategically important naval bases in our colonial territories are also lacking protection from enemy amphibious assaults. We should also fortify important harbors to maintain control over them. Modernized cruiser class. Our current cruiser classes are lacking modern technologies. The cruisers are vital for protecting our heavy ships from taking damage from hostile destroyers or torpedoes and protect our oil and ports. Destroyers are gaining escorting our vital oil imports from getting intercepted by enemy submarines. Improving their design can further increase the amount of oil we can import, and we'll probably end up going with this one fleet and being which one? Which land do we go down with? Naval doctrine, I mean, base strike. I actually went down base strike, huh? Of all things, we went down base strike. Not fleet and being or trade addiction, so uh, this stuff won't actually matter at all then. Hmm. Darius's plan, convoy raiding. I kind of prefer this one though. So U-boat research might not be bad. Naval experience gain. Wow, plus 0 0.05 a day. Adds two advanced battleships at 40% completion. Wow. Modular construction. Honestly, that's not bad. I kind of prefer this one, though. So, follow Dönitz's doctrine, because we can. Admiral Karl Dönitz believes in unrestricted submarine warfare, where the bulk of the German submarines are located at the Atlantic coast, or Atlantic Ocean, to intercept many convoys, enemy convoys, providing fuel, weapons, and food or enemy. Our main strike fleet will be used to protect the North Sea and East Seas and provide naval support for a potential amphibious invasion. So, now we're going to be Italy, which is... Oh, I forgot we had a border here. Italy... I forgot that Italy had a border with France. That's not good. But as you can see, I mean, we're just, we're just going in. I mean, I don't know what happened here, but, like, bro, like, it was just... That's why I had to stop playing with it. Why are we doing so well down here? And these guys have just stopped up here completely, so... 
We'll focus on Italy and take them out. Probably straight up annex. I'll just probably just straight up annex them. They did want to ally us, but I'm like, nah, we good. And how's the Russian front? I've got a lot of guys down here too. I don't know where the allied soldiers are. Allied soldiers. The Austro-Hungarian soldiers are. They have, well, they don't have a lot, but still. And they're fighting on a few different fronts, but still. Uh, you can do, uh, this one actually is not too bad. If anything that should get hit, it's probably interwar armored cars. So, there you go. Yeah, it's not looking very good now, is it? Mm, our soldiers do, oh, okay. Well, I mean, honestly, I think the Ukraine deserves more, just, but uh, since austria Hungary is having a little bit of a problem with that, we might just take whatever we want. Yeah, I don't know what happened to Italy. I'm going to assume that a lot of the soldiers died in the water. I mean, they had over 2 million casualties already, but still. Uh, honestly, that probably would be bad, but I'll give austria Hungary this then. They can have that. There you go. I'll just make it look nicer. Very cool. And... Let's take a look. Led by Pietro Balagoglio. Freaky. Oh, my apologies. Pit Pietro Badoglio. Okay, cool. So, he is who he is, and that was much easier than I thought it would be. Um, I guess we could advance, I suppose. So, that actually might help us break the French, actually. I was thinking about taking out the... Uh, Swiss, but we'll see what happens. Could you guys actually win here, maybe? Maybe, maybe not. Oh, actually, if you guys help support the attack, you might actually be able to. Not many soldiers protect our oil imports. Let's go and do the Dernitz one next. I didn't do economic boom yet because I didn't feel like it, so. Dernitz. Thank you, Dernitz. And what are we not getting? I'm not going to be bothered with this stuff yet. I, I, I don't even care. So. Um, maybe try that out, maybe? Government cipher schools, nice. Any partisan stuff would be pretty cool. Yeah, it's going to be pretty tough to win here. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we should stop it. Hold for now. That might actually weaken their line up here, but even then, like, it's pretty strong up here in the north, so. Maybe we'll bait them to attacking us. Maybe we'll try to take Leo, which I kind of doubt we can take, but hey, it is what it is. And we actually have fuel. Look at that. We have, actually have some fuel. Nice. Daily gain is 18,000. It does help if you stop moving some ships around, so. Um, anything happening over here? Not really, no. I did put some spies around here as well. Oh, now we can go toward the uh, Ottoman boys, huh? That should help them out a little bit more, so. Mm. Guaranteed by anybody? No? Good. Oh, and Mexico joined us. I'm not sure why. Oh, it's just Catholic Mexico, and they're a bunch of national populace, so. They joined us, I'm like, okay, why not? The more the merrier, you know. Oh. Do we actually do well here, maybe? Oh, take Belgorod. That's kind of cool. Yeah, Austro-Hungarian's not doing very well right now. Deutsche Mill Africa wants a production license for the FW-190. Our colony in Africa wants a production license for the Falk Wolf FW-190. Can we trust them with the production license? Yes, we can trust them. Uh, there was a comment saying that we should get some more, or import some more tungsten and aluminum. Sure, why not? Oh, actually, that's a lot. Uh, I don't want to raise their autonomy too much. There you go. Cool, we took Belgrade. That was easy. Actually, we should have sent the tanks down here, but maybe we can strike Lille. I kind of doubt it, but that does... Wow. Wowzers. Okay. Uh, I'm glad I looked at that. I need to call you down from Norway. We're not going to invade the Norwegians, unfortunately. Seems like a very German thing to do, but whatever. Hold on, get down the line. Uh, sure, you can come on in. Um, that backhand blow, and we're now almost done with our land auction. Great. Look at that. Now this was a smart thing to do, take out Italy and then do this. Wow. Well, at least they're attacking, finally. They they don't like attacking too much up here. Uh, they did it once, twice, thrice, or something like that, so. But still, not bad. This person industry, very cool. More fuel? Why not? Political power, what do we use it on? Um, honestly, organization is probably the best thing there. Nice. Now, don't stack it up too much, guys, and they won't attack us, so. Just be careful of how much you guys attack. 43, cool. Re nuclear research, thank you. Plenty of manpower still. And radar, shall we? Yes, we shall. I'm trying to get more radar up here so we can see everything that's going on. Okay, maybe a little bit more fuel. At this point, I don't, uh, that was actually really smart for us to do. I kind of doubt we can get in there, but we'll see what happens. A 
we actually might be able to push through, huh? Oh yeah, they're definitely attacking like crazy. Holy crap. This is nice. Yeah, they did attack a few times. Where are they? Oh, look at that. Wow. Half a million. Jeez. Did we actually break through Lille yet? No. That's okay. Take your time. Cool, and I guess we do economic boom, finally. We finally reached our wanted objective. The economy is growing, the industry is flowing, in equipment, and for civilians, and war efforts, and Kaiserreich is prospering, just like the good old days. Got mit uns. Mit uns. I think I read that yesterday, but whatever. Nice. Screw it. If you can, take half. You guys go there to there. Circle these guys if you can. That'd be really, really good. Force it. We have enough fuel for this anyway, so... Might as well, right? And we did give us some... So these guys some planes as well, so that does help out. I think I made these guys 40 combo with two, so... Uh, come on. Come on. Can we not break them? That sucks if we can't break them, man. That really sucks. Oh, guys, you, you doubled up too, too hard here. You doubled up too hard. 84, come on. Uh, I think they're doing last stand as well, maybe? Maybe not? No, they're not. That's unfortunate. Uh, planes. How are we looking on planes here? English Channel's fine. Fighters. More cast. More Stukas, please. Yeah, you guys are stuck there. That's fine. Oh, that was dumb. Uh, let's see. Actually, right here might not be too bad. Puncture through these ten. Oh, we can build more stuff, too. Look at that. Nice. Um, what do we want? Infinite refineries? Sure. Who needs factories when you got refineries, right? Oh, you can know about the Italians too, that's fine. Cool. Oh, look at this. Who's this? The Dutch are over here. Nice. Good job, guys. How's it working with the Russians? I mean, we're not really doing anything at all, so. Must be going pretty okay then. Kind of hanging out, having a good time. Attacking down south? No. That's disappointing. So, you got you guys got too many people down there, so let's come down here. Why don't you guys be a force that really wants to kill all some Ottoman guys? There you go. I think done. Oh, look at the Dutch. Our allies have actually invaded Algeria. Okay, then. Not bad. Interesting. There you go, too. There you go. That'll be good. All right, boys. You might be able to do well, you might not be able to do well. So, we'll see what happens. Okay, they'll do... They'll be, okay, then. Um, not bad. I don't think we can do a general attack, but... Not bad. Not bad at all. Now, how many forts do they have up there? That's quite a few forts. I would like to attack this area, but... Um, actually, we might be able to attack right here. Maybe, maybe not. <clears throat> They're doing great. Diplomatic training, nice. How's the cipher coming along for everyone else here? Well, let's see these guys too. That'd be good. Quite good. Key point bombing is nice. Let's grab some naval stri field strikes. Come on, guys. Go, 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 go. Oh, they might be able to do it. Keep one guy here, just in case. They actually broke through, nice! You can actually break through here, that'd be really cool if you could. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Ah, oh, someone's justifying on us. And that is probably Japan? Yes. So be it. Alright, modernize the fighters. Fighters should, should have, be, have become a big part of warfare since the Valkyrie. We should therefore invest resources into modernizing the fighters. Come on, man. Nice. Uh, this is actually going really well. I'm glad we took out Italy. I'm glad they were so weak. Help oh, hold. This is 6, 13, 15, 21, 22, 23, 24, 32, 34 divisions trapped in here. And after this, we'll do a general attack because at this point, we might as well. Just help attack for now. And please don't get encircled. And they have no base. Wow. The fall of constant. Hello. The Dutch are doing great. Jeez. 
Uh, Bulgaria, you're in the faction. You're gonna come in or not? All right. Well, if you refuse to join, I'm gonna just kick you out. Wait, we're not allowed to kick him out? Oh, that's not cool. That's not a cool game setting. What the heck? Oh, they refuse to come in. Why should we have them in our faction? It's been a few years, man. It's been a few years. Excavation five, even more fuel. I love imports. Ah, oh, look how many dead enemies we're gonna have. Good. Look at all those dead guys. Beautiful. Oh, yeah, they're not dead. Look at that. Yeah, not bad. Well, I guess at this point, Sally Forth, I suppose. Or maybe not. Wow, that's not looking good. How is it? Agent Capture, that's not good. Boom. 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 There you go. Um... Yep, maybe that's a bad idea. Now we're still winning, though. Actually, we're still winning, huh? Plus explosives, government staff for schools. Hmm. Well, they don't have a lot of manpower. They have some, quite a bit left, but... Yeah, oh, the tanks are doing okay, though. They're definitely doing okay. Oh, Paris is, has been taken. Great. Yeah, they're looking good on a lot of fronts here. Early all pushing was not really good, but... Alright, not bad. Oh, we overran some guys. Yeah, screw the Russians. I don't care about the Russians right now, as you can tell. <laughs> um, I don't think you guys could really win over there, could you? Yeah, there's a lot of red. We're probably losing a million people, a million Germans for this. But the casualties we're inflicting on the French are just... Oh, yeah, they're done. They're done. They're, they can't even do anything up there. They're stuck just trying to defend this piece of dirt over here that our tanks and motorized are just too fast for them. Nice. Guangxi clique. Expand the Belgian civil industry. Why not? Hmm. We'll give you some of this. We will get some oil next, too. That'd be kind of nice. Go, cool. Brittany's ours. All right, boys. I know it's the mountains, but you're not my actual soldier, so it's fine. <laughs> Hey, look, an encirclement. And they're dead. Oh, man. If you could get down here and cut these guys all off, that'd be really great. Yeah, I don't think they can keep this up. Anything else here? No? All right. Do we have a million losses yet? No? But they have 1.34, which is pretty nice. Oh, they canceled it, which is good, I guess. Yeah, their, their manpower is dropping quite quickly. Yeah, I don't think they can keep this up anymore. Like, obviously, it's not very good for us, but our equipment level's looking pretty darn nice. Plenty of light tanks. Plenty, 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 plenty of light tanks, actually. Force it. Oh, you guys actually have more than enough soldiers here. Uh, I'll throw you right there. Throw you right there, too, as well. Good. Um, all right, well, we'll cut them off that way. Not bad. Modernize your fighters, expand the air bases. Our air base is not able to maintain our growing number of aircrafts. By expanding the air bases, we can become an even more deadly force in the air. Great. That's all hopefully before. Wow. Holy crap, you guys are really pushing down hard. Get a palace so they have no more air bases. Must say all wow, they're actually expanding over here too. Holy crap. After this will be Russia next. That doesn't look too bad for them. Hmm. Good luck, Siam. Good luck. You're going to need that. Well, we've lost quite a few guys. We've lost almost a million, so... Then again, how many are to the French? About half a million, so that makes sense. Cool. Garrisons. Where are you? Ah, garçons. There she's Indies. Oh, crap. That's not good. I don't really feel like fighting Japan. There's really no point for me to fight Japan here. They're just so far away. It's hard to get over there. I'm very surprised that we can't do anything about this anymore. Oh, we can't do that anymore. Let's see. Good. Sorry, it's in. Um, there's nowhere else up here. Uh, look at this area, I suppose. Yeah, this is really, really incredibly bloody, but it is what it is, you know. win, just win, win. Okay, they're gone. Alright then. Thanks to all the allies. I don't think we had anyone here who was really our ally, so we're just gonna go ahead and satellite these guys. No. Occupy puppet, there you go. 
And the French... I don't think they should deserve independence. Uh, well, we are, I already annexed these guys. They're really bad. Oh, uh, you know what? Let's do an Occupy Pop. I want to see who would be the, the ruler, so... Let's do that one. Just pop them. Nation Francais. Who would be here? Oh, Bataan. Okay. And Algeria. Just straight up Algeria. Alright, so we got that. That was actually so much easier than I thought. Holy crap. Uh, I'm okay. I don't really want to fight those guys. Just saying, so... Send the tanks back over here. We have to hit them hard. Modern Blitzkrieg is nice. Cool. And... Grab some of this, too. Ground support, instruction, and stuff. Oh, yeah, I'll get up these in planes. That'll definitely... Oh, they're actually attacking us. Look at that. The Union of Britain declared war in the UK. Whoa! I've never seen a British Civil War before. Well, not like this. Halifax versus Harry Pollitt. Yeah, I don't think these guys are going to be able to win. Radical Socialists, they're out of manpower. they got quite a few divisions, though. Yeah, they don't have that much manpower either, so... Huh. Strange, but okay. Details wounded, all right. They're actually attacking, wow. Safford's done for them, that's good. Actually, very, 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 very good. Poor China. Oh, well. Yeah, they're attacking all across the front. They feel pretty confident, huh? Let's see how long the confidence lasts. We're going to throw in more Cass. Nice. Love it. There you go. You can have them right there. Whatever. And we'll send... Eh, that's good enough for now. Cool. More air doctrine, please. Thank you. Getting like a one every day or something like that. Oh, wow. They, they are really attacking. Look at that. They really don't like us here. Okay, Russia. <sighs> Very nice. Let's grab... I want to grab flexible line because I always use streamlined line, so I'll do something different. Expand the air bases. All right. And then expand the settlement of German conquerors. What is this? Does not have spirit of growing economy. The German companies were the main economic tool on our subjects and economic partners. We need to expand the settlement even more, and by doing so, our economic influence shall spread even further. Great. We actually lose a lot more from Zolveran, but it's okay. All right, who can't give me the goods? Netherlands. Pathetic. Persia. Pathetic. Next reactor is nice. Uh, you guys. Pathetic. Oh, we actually have to have convoys for Persia, huh? That sucks. Grab some of that. Alright, the tanks are ready to rumble. Actually, how many spirit tanks do we have? Uh, mediums, lights. That's not bad. Let's change at least one more. I think I made these guys 40 combat width? Yeah. Cool. Can you guys actually win down here? Yeah, oh, yeah. You should be able to win pretty easily. Yeah, look, oh, we... About a, okay, Cavallo. Okay, okay then. Hmm. Nice. Oh, yeah, they're attacking definitely. Wow. Well, we shall return the favor immediately. You guys are hanging out. Don't really feel like killing off Spain, so... There you go. They did have one. Good. Um, other than that... Maybe something for air close air support. Yeah, let's get some more cast. Yeah, that this is the end of the Ottomans. Oh boy. That's probably the end of the Russians too, and don't want to forget this either. Both of them, why not? Guatemala Oh, that might piss off America. I do not want to fight America right now. Oh, uh, we've killed about a million of them, nice. Oh, actually you guys are down here too. You actually were pushed back a little bit, eh? There you go, good luck. Let's see Russia, what do you have? Kerensky, a million manpower. Really, one and a half million, if not that. they got plenty of fuel for now, though. But, basically, if we beat the Ottomans, we basically open up another front against uh, the Russians, so. And this is scarily dangerous for these guys right here. Oh, there's not that many divisions up there, but that's still okay. Doing fairly well. Come on, tanks. Go, 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 Oh, we're still... Oh, jeez. We're always running out of things to build. Holy crap. Build roads, roads, roads. Make sure supplies good wherever we're at. Air bases. Don't forget the air bases. Radar, maybe, even. Actually, radar's pretty good already. 
There you go. Good luck with that. Oh, look at this. Wow, the Union Burn is doing really well. That is something I was not expecting. Do they even need a generic focus tree? Armament efforts. Generic. Okay, that's fine. Uh, someone else in the comments recommends that we try out NSIG mod? Yeah, I know. Uh, I've heard of it. I haven't tried it out yet, though, but we'll see what happens. Uh, provide our troops with close air support. The main task of the Fliga Troop has always been providing close air support to our troops. The task can be more efficient and effective if we modernize the close air support models. So. No, I'm, I'm okay. We don't, I don't really want to attack Japan, to be honest. I really don't want to attack Japan. There's no point for me to go all the way over there. There's Guatemala. Good job, guys. Um, I wonder how much equipment they have, actually, over in Russia. They're feeling pretty confident. Oh, hold on. Oh, that's not bad. They got a lot of divisions, but we can see what they have. 177. That's not bad. We must have cut off a couple of them. Oh, hello. Yeah, that's one of the reasons why we cut them off. That's not good. Okay, so we're done down here for the most part. So... Come here and smash the living crap out of them if you can. You guys, come here. Smash the crap out of them if you can. This is going to be a pain in the butt trying to get over, but our allies will probably actually land successfully over there or something like that. And then you guys just kind of hang out. Oh, you guys could actually probably come over here then. I'm glad we have military access to Austria. Or Aust Austria Hungary, that's really good actually. Good, good, good. Any more divisions? There you go. There you go. You get them down too. And nuclear bombs. Well, it's a little bit ahead of town, but that's fine. Whatever. If we keep attacking, we might win, maybe? Catholic Mexico keeps going to war. Alright. Yeah, the North here, not doing great, not doing bad. And we now we have over a million casualties, but hey, it is what it is. If you're fighting, we're done with all that stuff. Good. Let's grab some mechanical stuff. Sure, why not? Good. We have absolute air superiority, which is great. Even more chaos, please. Bring on the chaos. There you go. Oh, the 19 divisions. My goodness. That's quite a few guys. Ground support integration. We'll grab some of this. Strategic destruction. We're winning down here. I'm waiting for someone just to enable invade. No, actually, we could if we really wanted to. I don't know how long the Russians were able to hold on. How much equipment do they have? I mean, we've been beating them up pretty fiercely, so hold on. Let's take a, take a look here. Um... I don't think we need to raise conscription level. Oh, they have lost a few divisions. Stockpile. Okay. Well, we've beat them up so badly, they've got nothing. Nice. So, at this point, just keep going. If they have no equipment, then just keep going. You literally just might as well. They can't do anything about it, actually. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, there goes the Union Britain. They actually did lose, huh? Anywhere else we could throw this? Maybe over here? Just so we get some stuff like that? All right. Air Warfare Academy. To improve our fighting capability in the air, we should introduce an academy where pilots can be trained and therefore improve their performance in battle. Probably performance, but happy 1944, everyone. I, did, I just realized it was this year. Uh, how strong are these guys? Abdul Hamid said they have some manpower left. Oh, 25 divisions max? They're, they're almost out of equipment as well. Holy crap. I know they didn't attack nearly as much as anyone else, but Jesus. Benefit support is very nice. Very nice. It is 44. Let's get some better planes, shall we? Yes, we shall. That's weird. Do we not spend... Air XP for trying to improve our planes. That seems like a very, very missed opportunity, I'll be honest. That makes a lot more sense for us to actually improve our planes that way than any other way, just because, I mean, you're literally fighting, like, for, you know, to make your planes better. Um, we can go from there. We can try another one as well as Izmir, maybe? Maybe? Could try that? So, because we don't need our ships up here anymore, really. Well, we could still use them, but still. Uh, so, take, uh, uh. I don't think all you guys here. Do, 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 do. Get our boys over there. That'd be very nice. There goes the Dutch East Indies. No, thank you. Don't want to be bothered with that stuff. I'll throw them right there. There you go. And I know this is costing us a lot of manpower, but whatever. Uh, material designer, Mauser would be nice, artillery, such beat, artillery, there we go. Oh yeah, now it's not looking very good for us now, is it? Just in case, there you go. Oh, that's an encirclement though, that's not bad. 
You guys are probably... Oh, we can't force the attack. Uh, oh, the guy's wounded. Or, yeah, Hans Guderian's wounded. That sucks. Oh, I like those encirclements. Oh, there's another one almost down here, too. Oh, yeah, we're doing really well. Wow. At least over there. Anders is gone. Goodbye. If you can, go right ahead. We don't have enough naval supremacy, huh? Hmm. Yep, there you go. This should help give us some naval supremacy, then. Advanced fire controls. Grab some of that. Rocket engines are nice. Go ahead and duplicate that, actually. And then, because we're going to do this area down here, too. Ooh, two subs gone. Nice. As long as the enemies don't have any other upgrades or any equipment, we'll probably keep pushing on and do very, 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 very well. Another encirclement. Look at that. Beautiful. How many losses do they have? Over, almost, roughly six million. The Austro-Hungarians have not done nearly as much as we. We nearly killed three million ourselves. Not bad. Come on, guys. Let's guess you can take that area out and concentrate your forces up there. And improve aircraft production methods. Our aircraft production is not on track with the growth of the air force we want to achieve. By improving production methods, we can produce more fighters. Aw, oh, yeah. Ah, uh, they do have boys here. Ah, oh, look at that. Um, I guess we can try to invade there, maybe? There you go. <clears throat> Come on, guys. I know attacking through is just such a bad idea, but still... I'm not going to give up the pressure. No, they, they've got to die. It's either you guys win or they die, they win. So, uh, They got a few more days left. Honestly, I'm waiting for Russia to fall. Like, at this point, they have to collapse. How many divisions they've left? 71. Come on. Why could you not go down there? Seriously, you should have you should have absolute air superiority down there. All right, everyone's going to do this. We're going to run out of fuel soon, and that's okay. There you go, Fock Wolf. Oh, that's not good. Fighters, fighter three is good. Should be able to go very soon, right? Three days, three days, two days, two days. Pathetic. Come on, guys, let's go in. What are you taking so long for? Alright, so you guys landed. You guys get down there. You guys force the attack. Go in. Force them to die. Good. With all the casualties the enemies are causing. Oh, there's some Russian ships too. Nice, look at that. Oh, Panama? Oh, that might piss off the Americans. I think I said that earlier, so whatever. Hey, the Italians arrived. Good job, guys. Good job. It took Germans to invade these guys. God dang, that sucks. I was hoping our allies would be able to do something here, but nope. And now they're stuck there and they can't move. Good. We lose 2 million Germans in total. Oh, we did lose 2 million. Well, that sucks. It's mostly against Russia, though. The Ottomans, yes, but still. How dare you take that tiles away from us? Oh, look at that. Oh, the Russian fleet. Oh, the o Russian and Ottoman fleet. Oh, my goodness. What a shame. What a shame. Oh well, goodbye. Are you guys are done? No, you no, 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 no. You still got all of Turkey to take out. Or Ottoman Empire. Cool. And you guys head down here. Oh yeah, they're definitely worried now. They're definitely worried. Look, look at that. Oh yeah, that's good. That's some good stuff. I've lost way too many men to these guys. That's alright though. Well, because of that, and their, uh, because of the Ottoman inaction to actually like, give up, uh, we're just going to have direct rule from Berlin, so... Oh, sure. Oh, we're actually out of stuff, huh? We're actually out of motorized. Go figure. Not bad. Finally, the Dutch attacked. My goodness. Why take so long? And you guys take forever to take out. Russia, why? Eh, actually, this, this guy's doing pretty darn well, I'd say. 
Just let him do what he wants to do. Now we're out of fuel again. Go figure. Uh, let's see. How about expand our colonial bases? The naval bases in our colonial control or territories in Southeast Asia and the Indian Ocean are not capable to maintain supplies required for base forces stationed there. We should expand the capacity to increase the supply flow to the station forces. Very good. Oh, uh, Ukraine. Come on, man. Um, Catholic Mexico? We can try to ramp that up, maybe. Venezuela, Peru, Argentina? No. Uh, I really wish we could get rid of this export focus thing. That really sucks. There we go. This is so much better now. Well, yep, too bad. We're going to burn the Ottoman Empire to the ground now. Kill every single one of them. No, so there's going to be no uh, prisoners of war here, so. Because of the, the hundreds of the thousands that they eliminated. Over 600,000? Well, yep. Oh, well. They chose their fate, they chose defiance, and they get their consequences. Hey, right of manpower, look at that. Kind of wild, if you say so, but service by requirement. Let's keep going, boys, keep going. Ah, good. Now, we're going to commit a little no more alive for a lot of these people. Uh, actually, honestly, we deserve almost all of this. We literally deserve almost all of this, just because, like, if it wasn't for us, the Bulgarians and Austro-Hungarians wouldn't be able to do anything, so thank you. Now, time to commit uh, war crimes, some might say. Nice, there you go. There you go. There you go. And there we go. Nice. Let's grab some of this, too. Yes. Very nice. Wow, this is a giant mess. Guys, could you just please win? How have you. Oh, hold on. Hold the phone. Why are you so weak? Oh, the phone. Why are. Guys, what the heck? You do know you need to resupply your own men, right? Guys? We don't need any more soldiers. That's fine. Alright, so now we can probably tail our navy. Go home. You're costing us way too much fuel. Oof. Go home. Yeah, that, that, they just suck up so much fuel. It's not even funny. Just what the heck, guys? There we go. We got some fuel back. Go, 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 go. If you guys can force it, that'd be great. Uh, I guess just try to get over the mountains. Orsk. A cat Thurnberg. It's a toast. Hey, it's a toast. But who knew that was going to be Russia again that was trying to stand di defiant in front of us. After we even beat the Turks as well. Hmm. Who, who knew? Austria-Hungary, you owe me fuel for saving your butts. No longer get a, a growing economy. That sucks. Go, you little division. Go. The division that could. Rocket engine Narinos. Nice, nice, nice. Bullet interception. Go and grab some of that. Jet engines. Expand a colonial bases. We're done with air ductions. Comet sighted. And is near for our enemies. Nice. Military police. Sure, why not? Yeah, Katzenberg, nice. Let's get the start of the na naval plan in 1939. With the success of the previous naval plans, Kaiser Wilhelm II von Preussen has authorized yet another naval plan. This time, it focuses on modernizing our carrier design and increase the production efficiency to prepare for the inevitable war that is on the rise. All right, so where's the capital now? Don't tell me it's Vladivostok. I don't want to go all the way down there. That's a long way away. There we go. Do something like that. Uh, they should capitulate soon, though. It's 96% of the way there. We've got 3.6 million of them ourselves. Not bad. Not great. But not bad. What are we lacking? Tanks? Oh, a lot of guns. Of course, then again, there's a lot of territory that we have to garrison. As well as a lot of losses we just took, period, from attacking a whole bunch. So, you know, go, you know, go figure. Nice. Go on, build some of that, too. I think I've plenty of fuel. Wow, look at all these guys. Yeah, you can stay, say you don't want to die, but... Oh, look at that. Ooh, they get reinforced. That's good. Make sure your divisions don't die, guys. That's a really bad idea. They die. <laughs> Just saying. This is a giant mess. 
Oh, and I think they've given up. Hey, cool, and there it is, my friends. Oh, we could pop at them, but honestly, if it wasn't for us, the Austrians would have just, like, collapsed anyways, so. Azerbaijan, I don't want to liberate them. I just want to take everything. But seriously, without us, Austria Hungary would have not been able to do anything, but now we're looking pretty good. Now we're really out of guns, but I think that's going to be the campaign, because... I really don't feel like fighting Japan, and we're actually at peace. Look at that. Let's take a look at our faction. Not bad. The Berlin Pact's looking pretty good. We kind of surround the Dona Adria Pact. Council of Non-Aggression Pact. Bulgaria was really disappointing, but hey, whatever. It is what it is. And we got a good chunk of Africa, too. But I guess that's going to be the campaign. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below if you haven't already. And I'll see you tomorrow in a different campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.